Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about DNA repair. First, let's go over the types of DNA repair for single-stranded DNA, which when mutated are less detrimental than double-stranded damage. There are three types of single-stranded DNA repair. Nucleotide excision repair, base excision repair, and mismatch repair. Nucleotide excision repair happens when bulky helix distorting regions of the DNA occur, such as thymine dimers. In the G1 phase of the cell cycle, specific endonucleases first release the oligonucleotide that has the bases that are damaged. DNA polymerase then comes and fills in the cutout region, and ligase joins them back together. Xeroderma pigmentosum occurs when nucleotide excision repair is defective. This results from the inability to repair damaged DNA caused by pyrimidine dimers from UV exposure. Symptoms manifest themselves as dry skin, extreme light sensitivity, and skin cancer. In basic excision repair, just a single base is removed by the enzyme glycosylase, which creates an AP site. AP endonuclease then cleaves the 5' end and AP lyase cleaves the 3' end, removing one or more nucleotides. DNA polymerase beta then fills the rest of the DNA, and DNA ligase joins them together. This process occurs throughout the cell cycle, unlike nucleotide excision repair, which occurs only in the G1 phase. This is an important repair process when bases are spontaneously deaminated, such as thymine to 5-methylcytosine. Remember that if a base is spontaneously deaminated, it's going to need gel please to seal it back up. Mismatch repair happens when nucleotides are mismatched in a newly synthesized strand. This form of repair must happen immediately after DNA synthesis. This is because only the parental strand will be methylated, where the newly synthesized strand will not. The mismatched nucleotides will get removed, replaced, and resealed. In Lynch syndrome, mismatch repair is defective, which can cause hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. Now, for double strand repair, there are two types. After a double strand break, non-homologous end join will bring the two ends back together. In ataxia telangiectasia, this repair mechanism is defective. Some DNA may be lost in this repair system, and there is no requirement for DNA to be homologous. In homologous recombination, a strand from a two homologous DNA duplex is mutated. The way it gets repaired is by using an intact homologous DNA as a template to synthesize a complementary strand. Quiz time. What repair mechanism is defective in Lynch syndrome? The answer... Mismatch repair. What is the name of the disease in which non-homologous end joining is defective? Ataxia telangiectasia. What enzymes are needed in base excision repair? Glycosylase to remove the wrong base and create the AP site. AP endonuclease to cleave the 5' prime end, AP lyase to cleave the 3' prime end, DNA polymerase beta to fill in the gap, and ligase to seal. Remember, base excision repair needs gel, please. Lastly, what is the name of the disease in which nucleotide excision repair is defective? Zero derma pigmentosum. DNA pyrimidine dimers are unable to be repaired in this condition. That's all for this lesson step in review. We'll see you in the next video.